I am often asked how I keep my home spick and span. Well, my answer is that keeping a home clean is less about the time involved and more about creating good habits. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I keep my home in order. I cannot stress enough on the power of a positive morning routine that makes you feel happier and more productive. After waking up, we often drag ourselves out of bed. Let's change this habit. Take a few minutes and think of some good things about yourself and be grateful. Now set some goals in mind and get mentally organized. Now to make more positive impact on your mind, you must start your day by making the bed. It will have a domino effect, trust me on that. Now open the windows and let in the fresh air and sunshine. Before taking shower, wipe down basin and toilet and after taking shower, wipe down the counter, walls and floor. In my family, it's a rule whoever takes shower in the last has to wipe down and it just takes 5 minutes. In the same way, after lunch and dinner, I wipe down my kitchen. It takes only few minutes to wipe down counters, stove, sink and cabinet shutters. That's my everyday routine. I do the deep cleaning of some areas weekly or monthly depending on how often these areas get dirty. I'll suggest you to make separate lists for daily, weekly and monthly cleaning routine. Dust and clutter. These two are the main culprits that make your home look untidy and unpleasant. So dust every day. It doesn't take a lot of time, just a quick run through to wipe the dust off the furniture like coffee table, dining table, TV unit, bed headboards. And on weekends, I spend few extra minutes to dust photo frames, sofas, lamps, window grills and fans. Now let's come to controlling the clutter. The rule of thumb is keep everything in its place. All the members of the family should follow this rule. Every stuff in your home should have a dedicated space so that it doesn't contribute to clutter. So make it your habit to keep stuff in its place after every use. Surfaces like desk, coffee table, dressing table tend to collect clutter over time. So be vigilant and find every item a home. It is so important to get the whole family involved. Involving the family not only makes your job easier, but also helps your kids learn some life and relationship skills. What we do in my family is I don't like folding laundry so my son and husband are assigned this job. It's not necessary that you do all the cleaning and decluttering in one go. It is always a good idea to break your task. Carve out 5 to 10 minutes time sessions throughout the day where you can do some of your work. Like you can do the laundry in the morning and dusting in the noon. But please, don't overwhelm yourself because a lived-in home cannot look perfectly styled 24 by 7. Like I said in my Instagram post that 
Our home is clean enough to be healthy and dirty enough to be happy. That's how a home should be. So that's all for today. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye bye for now. Wish you all love, luck and sunshine.